In a previous video, we've created a color capture layout and activity in Android Studio. In this video, we're going to see how we can have that activity and an existing activity share the same menu. Some good news if you came from Eclipse development. When you add an activity as we did in our last video, it automatically adds that activity to the Android manifest, which is something we used to have to do manually in Eclipse. Not anymore. Uh, now, what it did is it created a stub called Color Capture Activity with an onCreate method. That onCreate method links us to a layout. Then what it did is it overrode the onCreate options menu and on options item selected methods. And that is what is showing our menu and also what is handling menu clicks. Incidentally, this is nearly the same thing that it created in our very first activity that we created when we created our app. Now, I've taken both of these and I have put them into Notepad++. Uh, one feature I really like about Notepad++ that's not very obvious is put two files right next to each other, then go to Plugins, Compare, and choose Compare. If you don't see this option, go to Plugin Manager, you may need to install it. But nonetheless, it's an easy way to do a quick diff between two files. What we're going to see is that both of these sections that it has generated are identical except for one line, and that one line is the actual menu that it is implementing. So actually, we want a consistent menu throughout our entire application. Uh, so we only want to use one menu anyway, so this line will end up being identical. Okay, if it's identical, then as it stands now, every activity we have is going to have copy and pasted these same 21 lines, and that's not efficient. That's not good object-oriented design. So let's see how we can fix this. I'm going to go to GPS a plant, which is the very first activity that we created. And I've had several videos on this already. Now, notice that GPS a plant extends action bar activity. And if we take a look at color capture activity, it also extends action bar activity. So both of these extend the same activity. What we want to do is this is what our this is what our inheritance diagram currently looks like. What we want to do is we want to alter this and we want to insert a class between these subclasses, as we call them, or our activities, and the superclass action bar activity. So essentially, we want to do this. We want to make a new activity called plant places activity, and we want to have both of our actual screens extend that activity. Looks a little bit strange on this uh, diagram, but essentially, action bar activity and then plant places activity extends from action bar activity. And then both GPS to plant activity and color capture activity extend from plant places activity. Let's see. So what we're going to do is use one of Android Studio's built-in tools to help us with that. And by the way, why are we doing this? We're going to put the common menu stuff and anything else that's common in that new superclass. To show you this, I have to reposition just a little bit. I'm going to right-click and I'm going to say refactor, and I'm going to say extract, and then I'm going to say superclass. Right-click, refactor, extract, superclass. And now, superclass name, I'm going to say plant places activity. Uh, package is fine. Now, here's the important part. I need to make sure that I, I move up or select any methods that I want to be in that superclass. So on create options menu, on options item selected, remember those are the two things that are nearly identical between the activity we already have and the activity that we just created. Those are the two things we want to share instead of copy and pasting. So I choose refactor and let's see what we get. It says class plant places activity has successfully been created. At this stage, Android Studio can analyze usages of GPS a plant. Yes, we want to do that. Okay. And okay. And yes, we want to add the file to get. 
Just a moment as I reposition the, the recorder. Now what we're going to do is take a look. GPS of plant now extends plant places activity. And I scroll down. Uh, and you see I no longer have those two methods in GPS of plant. The on create options menu and on options item selected. You see that my class is now smaller than it was before. And that is key to having an app that you get out quickly. Don't have anything redundant because extra stuff has to be maintained, has to be tested. All of that is very expensive. So this is set up okay. Let's go to color capture activity. And remember what we want to do is we want to have it extend plant places activity. So control C and now color capture activity and control V. Whoops, it's in there and there we go and save. Now at this point we can clean up plant pla uh, the color capture activity. We no longer need to override these two methods. So you see I highlight them and I delete them. Now I have a much smaller class because all of the shared information is in this thing called plant places activity, which is the activity that both of these classes are sharing together. So plant places, act I'm sorry, GPS of plant color capture activity, both sharing from plant places activity. So the nice thing is that now means that they are both using the same menu, menu GPS of plant. We could probably uh, rename that if we want, but at this point I can delete the color capture and there we go. Now we have a, 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 an app that's doing the same amount of work, but with less code. So that's refactoring to extract a superclass. In our next video, we'll see how we can actually make changes to that menu and show both of these screens on this menu. Thank you.